Okay guys, as you can see, dollar bead box dot com time for July. Um, so it says here in the Midwest, weather's been beautiful, and then talking about the 4th of July, stuff like that. So, if you don't know about the dollar bead box, there are a couple of different options for you. You've got the dollar bead bag, um, which is a monthly subscription, and it comes with four 3mm strands of um, fire polish, check fire polish beads for four millimeter strands of check fire polish beads for eight dollars a month and then it also comes with the bead box which comes with strands and also extras and that is $18.50 per month and then you can also pay for a yearly subscription which gives you access to their website which has a bunch of different stuff all for a dollar per item um i've never done that part i've always been a subscriber when i do it so I don't know how much the um, yearly subscription is, but I'll put the links down below for you. So without further ado, let's get started with the dollar bead bag. So first thing we're going with the three millimeters. So the first one is an opaque white rose gold luster, which is one of my favorite colors. Looks like that, beautiful. And then a turquoise half bronze luster, which looks like that. Really pretty. I think it's that one. Yeah. And then we've got the aqua blue zircon. Also really pretty. Lots of blues. Blues and bluish greens. And then we've got the emerald half bronze. Which looks like that. Okay, so those are the three millimeters. We've got the four millimeters. So we've got the aqua blue zircon in the four millimeter as well. See it a little bit better there. And we also have the emerald half bronze in the four millimeter. See it a little bit better there. And we have the topaz vintage silver, which is really pretty. That's gorgeous. It gives, it gives it a little bit of purpley tint to it. That's really pretty. And then the Alabaster Sage Luster. Now, I'm not normally an, a green person, but this is gorgeous. Very pretty. So those are the strands from the Dollar Bee bag. Okay, so let's push those back. And we'll get to the Dollar Bee box. Let's pull out the strands first. And then we'll get to the items. Alright. Alright. First thing we have is a check glass lentil. in either jet travertine or alabaster travertine, which looks like I've got alabaster travertine. Beautiful, and it's one whole 25 pieces, and this is a 10 millimeter bead. Gorgeous. And then I've got an eight millimeter check glass jack and amethyst, 25 pieces in that. Nice basic purple bead. Always good to have basic beads. And then we have a five by six millimeter check glass twisted rondelle in dark aqua, 40 pieces. And you can kind of see how it's twisted there. 
but there you go, you get to kind of see, see how it's twisted? That's kind of a cool little bead. I don't think I have any twisted rondelles. Those are cool. And then I have a six by six millimeter Lucerna bicone in avocado green. 25 pieces. I don't know if I'd call this avocado green. Avocado's a little, little less limey, <laughs> but it's cool green anyway. And then I've got a, oh, that's weird, six millimeter check glass ribbed round, otherwise known as a melon. Right? These are melons, right? Anyway. Crystal Aqua Gold, 25 pieces. This is pretty. And then a six millimeter check glass truck in olive, 35 pieces of that. Not really my color, but my sister and one of my friends love this color, so I might make something for them in that color. And then a 14 to 15 inch strand of three millimeter dyed jade, which is really pretty, and teeny, teeny, tiny. I have some other teeny, teeny, tiny um, gemstones like these. And the cool thing about these is that you can use them as fillers, so you can use them as spacers. However, what I love to do with these is to get a wire form, um, so just like a basic circle or triangle or whatever, and wire wrap these around them. So it gives it a nice, beautiful splash of color, and you can use the, the dainty things and, and really have them be the focal still, you know? They're beautiful. These are beautiful. I'm gonna have fun with those. I'm gonna do that with these and I'll, uh, I might do a project and uh, come back and show you. Alrighty, so now we're getting into the items. Interesting, so this is a 14 millimeter mother of pearl trefoil pendant. is just the shape. And Mother of Pearl is actually um, a shell. It's a type of shell. Okay. And we have a dyed bamboo coral abstract tube. So I'll be getting rid of the shell, I'll be getting rid of that. So I don't use anything that um, was like a living creature unless it was sustainably sourced. And I have to be able to um, prove that. So unfortunately, can't do that. Um, I mean, I might be able to email them and see if they um, are sustainably sourced. Um, but that's a lot of work for me to go through. Um, and usually they don't have that much and um, looks like this box is pretty heavy on the stuff. But anyway, so yeah, 16 to 24 millimeters, depending. And these are cool. Okay, so this is an 11 millimeter check glass button, Kristen Golden Shadow, two pieces. I love buttons to use as toggle clasps. These are so cute. You use these to put the little loops over. I have a bunch of dichroic glass buttons that I just, I've used them on a couple of bracelets, but they're just so beautiful that like, I used them so sparingly. <laughs> they're so stunning. And they were really expensive. They were like 25 bucks a button. Um, and then we've got a round shell pearl 12 millimeter Tahitian blue I might use this one just for um, just to make my mom something because she would like that it's pretty and then we've got a 
three by six millimeter check glass ribbed rondelle and amethyst. 12 pieces of these. This we'll definitely be getting rid of. Uh, Chinese carved bone pendant. I don't do bone for obvious reasons. And then this is cute. 18 by 26 millimeter vintage crystal German pendant with anchor. One piece. Ooh, wow. This I'll probably keep for myself. I was in the Navy. So I actually really like that. I'll probably make a little necklace for myself and rock it. I think the hole's right there. Is that the hole? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a little weird to sand that down. Ah. <laughs> it's cute, super cute. And then check glass melons and jet. I'm not going to take them out because they're kind of basic. And then Keshi Pearls and Burgundy. Again, I'll get rid of these. These are cool. Lucerna Bicons and White Opal Travertine. thing is dyed bamboo coral chips getting rid of those too so um a lot of the items this month i'll be getting rid of but no problem um it happens sometimes sometimes you get um a box that you're just not a fan of um so yeah all of these things all these not a big fan of I am, I'm probably going to use this one for my mom, though, because that's what she likes. But yeah, these for sure not dealing with. Um, we'll be getting rid of those. So yeah, but the strands I like and then the, the little things, no big deal. Um, anyway, thanks guys for watching. Uh, as usual, please comment and subscribe. Hit that little bell if you want to be notified when I'm up to my weirdness. And, um, yeah, I'll put all the information down below for their boxes. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.